Hey guys, right here I have a 2016 Perodor Beza 1.3 Advance. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car. Standard on the Beza 1.3 is Porodos Smart Keyless Entry and Start System. So. Just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the black button on the driver's side door handle. And to unlock the car, just press the black button again. Along with that smart keyless entry is a push button start system. So to start the Beza, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the right of the steering wheel. The Beza comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system. The steering wheel on the advanced trim is wrapped in leather with contrast stitching around the inner rim and sport grips at 10 and 2. No matter whether buyers go for the 1 litre or the 1.3 litre Beza, two transmission choices are available. The choice is between a 5-speed manual or this car's 4-speed automatic with low gear selection. Front and rear parking sensors are standard on the 1.3 Beza and the advanced trim also gets a reverse camera with guidance lines. Safety in the Beza Advance consists of two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability control, traction control, hill start assist, an alarm system, and mobilizer, and ISOFIX child seat anchor points for the outer two rear seats. Okay, so let's turn on the hazards, lights, front fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. The Beza Advance gets 14 inch, 5 twin spoke, 2 tone alloy rims wrapped in. Bridgestone Ecopia EP150 17565R14 tyres. The brakes are ventilated discs up front and drums out back. McPherson struts and a torsion beam setup make up the front and the rear suspension respectively. Malaysia is a market that traditionally prefers saloons over hatchbacks. Many local and foreign A and B segment saloons are very common on Malaysian roads because they are relatively cheap and spacious. Wanting a slice of the budget saloon market, Rodor launched their first ever four-door saloon back in July 2016. This model is known as the Beza, and the name is derived from the Malay word for different which is Beza. The double Z in the name represents 22, which signifies Rodor's 22nd year in the industry when the Beza was launched. While most other Rodor models have been based on equivalent Daihatsu models, the Beza only uses the Japanese car makers, platform and engines. This is because the A-segment Beza is of Prodor's own in-house design, with no existing Daihatsu model. Under the bonnet of this Beza is the 1NR-VE, 1.3L, 12 of 8 cams, 16 valves, naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine with multi-point fuel injection and dual VVTi technology. This engine produces 94 horsepower at 6000 RPM and 121 Nm of torque at 4000 RPM. The fuel tank size is 36 litres, and the combined fuel consumption for the Beza 1.3 automatic is 4.5 litres per 100 kilometres. The Beza is a front wheel drive vehicle.
The Beza is currently offered in 5 variants, 1.0G Extra Manual, 1.0G Extra Automatic, 1.3 Premium X Manual, 1.3 Premium X Automatic, and 1.3 Advanced Automatic. Exterior features of the Beza Advance include halogen reflector headlights, front fog lights, LED rear lights, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, and chrome door handles. Speaker, bottle holder, storage, window lock, and your window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered, while the driver's side is the only side that gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Mirror controls, traction control button, and this button activates or deactivates the Eco Idle stop and start system. If you have the system activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol or diesel depending on what the car is running on. Storage. The driver's seat in this Beza Advance gets full manual adjustments. This one adjusts the seat back, this one adjusts the seat height, while this one down here adjusts the seat position. Pull this lever to release the boot lid and pull this lever to release the fuel door. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she revs.
manual air conditioning controls, fan speed, temperature, different modes, front defrost, recirculation or outside air, rear defrost is right here, central locking, and your parking sensors button. Cup holders, storage, and a power outlet right down here. The Beza Advance comes with an integrated touchscreen head unit with various media connectivity options, navigation, and four speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system that this MyVe uses is actually not that bad. We are currently in your Bluetooth audio streaming menu, where you can go back a song, go forward a song, play pause, bring up your Bluetooth telephone keypad, contacts, call lists, music, you can also pair a device and bring up your settings menu. To go back, hit the back button right up here. We are currently in your main menu where you can access your FM AM, CD, USB, smart link connection, turn off the display, bring up your settings menu, Bluetooth menu, and your navigation menu. Right here we are in your maps, you can search, repeat voice guidance, settings, zoom in and out, change the map view and whatnot. And to the left of the display, hit this button to bring up your navigation menu, mute button, SD card slot, USB port, and to the right, your seat track buttons and your volume buttons. Above, power, CD player, and your eject button. Power folding side mirrors. On the steering wheel, there are no controls on the right spoke, but on the left spoke, your different mode selection button, volume buttons, and your seat track buttons. On the left stop, wiper controls. And on the right stall, light and indicator controls. There is a multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Use this button to go through the different options. Currently, mileage, trip meter, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, range, um, how long the idle stop system has been running for, and the cumulative time for the idle stop system and back to your mileage. The steering wheel in this car is fixed, so you cannot adjust it up or down or in and out. USB port for charging, and a bit of storage right here. Anti-snatch hook, manual dimming, rear view mirror, and the driver's side gets a sun visor. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour.
speaker, bottle holder, storage, and window control. The rear seat bags in this Beza do fold down. They split 60-40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then, locate the two levers right here. This one folds down the left seat and the middle seat, while this one folds down the right seat. Just pull it, and flip the seat back down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. While it may not be the most spacious back here in terms of headroom, leg room is actually quite alright and the seats are fairly nice and comfortable. There are storage pockets on the front seat backs together with hooks that can carry up to a maximum of 3 kilograms. No rear center armrest for this one. But right above for both sides at the back are grip handles. And there is a cabin light right there. Pop the boot lid open, you can use either the lever inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on, the button on the key fob or the touchpad beneath the product badge on the boot lid itself. Boot space in the Beza meshes 508 litres. For more boot space, the rear seat backs fold down as shown earlier. Under the boot floor is some storage and the vehicle's spare tyre. Adjustable headrests front and rear. Window control, storage, bottle holder, and speaker. 
the front passenger seat in this Beza gets full manual adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side just that this side loses out on the height adjustment. Decent sized glove box Grip handle for the front passenger hmm. And the front passenger's sun visor gets a vanity mirror Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2016 Peroda Beza 1.3 Advance. Thanks for watching and goodbye.